Hello and welcome back to Wayward and Mr. Vincent right here standing in his nice little home. So Tedward died in case you didn't remember. He is very, very dead underground having been eaten by a vicious harpy. It's not the best. Poor, poor Tedward. But look, it's Vincent. Vincent has everything that Tedward used to have. So for all intents and purposes, my friends, this is Tedward. So it's fine. So uh, Vincent has been surviving pretty well. He just built a house and that's about it. We haven't gone exploring too far, but we did find inside of Vincent's house a nice supply of iron, which was kind of the best thing ever. So Mr. Vincent, he is going to get himself a nice suit of amazing armor because, well, I mean, at least a sword and a shield. Which is probably all we're gonna get, because it's not all that much iron in reality, but you know, it's a good amount of iron. So we'll get that all nice and set for Vincent, and then Vincent, quite frankly, needs some uh, food. I mean, Vincent doesn't have much food. It's not the best. Poor Vincent is on the edge of death at all moments, because, I mean, it's Vincent. Come on. Dude doesn't know what he's on about. So let's get ourselves a nice little fire going. Solid. One hit. That's the best, kid. So what do we need for just iron chunks? Oh, yeah. We need a hammer. That is not too hard. We can build a hammer with no particular difficulty. Well, I say that. We don't actually have any stone in our inventory right now because all of our stone is in chests. Because I made certain to have enough chests to actually, like, fill... Like, take all the stuff off the ground and put it into our inventory. Because it's so annoying to have a bunch of, like, just items sitting around. You're going to walk around, all of a sudden you'll have just eons worth of, like, stone in your inventory. You'll start dying because, of course, now, unfortunately, you're encumbered. And, I mean... It's what has to be done in that particular situation. Once you become encumbered, you can't expect to actually survive, can you? No, not in the slightest. That would be ridiculous. Come on, people. What are you thinking? So we just need to get ourselves enough shizwas to actually start this furnace. Because, well, the forge. The furnace has already started. So now, looks like that requires two wrought iron. The shield requires three wrought iron. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you got yourself a sword. That's good. And what else do you want? We have a skull cap, which is, of course, like... Pfft, guys, come on now. Skull cap, best helmet in the freaking game. Who do you think you are? So I think we should get ourselves... get ourselves a gorget? I mean, I don't think a gorget is important. Let's get ourselves some gauntlets. A gorget, for those of you who don't know what a gorget is, it is the uh, piece of a suit of armor that goes over your throat and protects your neck. So I don't really think that that's a very necessary thing for Vincent to have at this point. I mean, it's an important piece of armor, but Vincent's not fighting anything like bandits or wolves, or really anything of any particular, like, <laughs> concerning skill. So I don't think they're going to be going for Vincent's throat all that often. They're going to be going for, like, gut shots. Unfortunately, poor Vincent still cannot defend himself from gut shots because he's just got a skull cap and some gauntlets. I mean, if he put his hands over his gut, I'm pretty sure he'd protect his gut fairly well. Oh, hello, rabbit. You're done! Oh, one hit. Ouch. Ooh, that is unfortunate for you. Let's not use our sword to carve that up and use a nice hatchet instead. Because I'm pretty sure carving things up uses durability, so... You failed to cause any damage to a slime with your fists. Well, no, I have a sword. I'm not trying to do damage with my fists. What are you on about? Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Come on. Vincent, when you're holding a sword, please do not try to kill a slime with your fists. That doesn't make any sense, Vincent. Come on. Oh, we destroyed our stone axe? We probably 
maybe should stop trying to chop down this tree if we've already destroyed our stone axe. There we go. We'll just make ourselves a new axe and cut our way through this tree. Um, is it just me or does this island look really tiny? I'm concerned that we're on a tiny island. You see, Vincent is not the last person to have tried to survive in this terrible, terrible world. There was another known as Marlene. Marlene, unfortunately, had the sad life of living on a tiny little desert island. And when I mean tiny little desert island, it, it was like... I don't know, the size of, like, a three-bedroom house covered in only palm trees and sandstone. And so poor Maureen... Maure I, I don't even know what her name is anymore. I don't even care. Uh, the poor lady was, um... She, she couldn't even get any... Oh, no, we picked up our door. She couldn't even get any, like, sharp stone because... Um, the island was so small, it didn't have any legitimate stone, it just had sandstone. So, in one last fit of an attempt at survival, she swam out to sea. And unfortunately, she didn't make it. She died trying to swim out to sea. It's, it's a sad story, it has to be said. Poor Marlene, that's what her name was, that's right. <laughs> Poor Marlene died a sad and terrible death. Luckily, Vincent is not in that particular situation. Although it would appear as though Vincent does not have a very large island either. I wish there was a map. A map would be great. Nightfall. Oh. Oh. Run. Vincent, run! Night falls upon the world here today. What is that? A pile of rocks. Okay, apparently we can't pick up the pile of rocks, but that's fine. We just want to hide in our house for the night, and that should be perfectly fine. Because we are terrible, terrible cowards. It's what we do. Okay, so we got a bunch of offal, which I don't know how to use, which is unfortunate. I'm sure it's absolutely delicious stuff, but poor Vincent has no clue what to do with it. So let's see. We will grab ourselves enough stuff to start a nice little fire. We do have the bonus of having been spawned with both a clay jug and a water skin. So we have two individual items to like store water in, which is nice. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure Vincent is all about that. Unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to survive any longer than we previously have survived because I mean, you just, you just kind of have to see how things go in the end. Come on, Vincent. It's not that hard to start a fire. Jeez. Well, I guess it is actually that hard to start a fire with a hand drill. What is this? A ball of dried ground meat with a long shelf life. This is the ultimate survival food. For best results, prepare it with animal fat. Huh. We may take them up on that offer. So let's just eat ourselves this nice little piece of cooked meat. And do we have any animal fat in here? No. Oh, we did get some animal fat from this. So can we make that stuff? No, we need two times meat for pemmican. That's unfortunate. Well, no pemmican for us. Yeah, we don't really need to eat this other piece of meat either. It's probably going to go bad. That's that's quite unfortunate. Just cook the meat regardless. I mean, we have the fire here, so we might as well see what we can do. Okay, well then, we've got this stuff, talc. A very chalky mineral, only useful in its powder form. How do we make talc powder? I don't, I, I don't even know. Huh. Well, we now have talc, which is apparently useful in, I mean, useless in the current form that we have it. Cave darkness. We're in a cave? No. <laughs> no. No. Who said we wanted to go down there? 
Ah, oh, that's the worst. I don't want to go down into some disgusting cave. The last time we went down to a cave, we died a terrible death. And a fairly quick death, too. I mean, we could try. We're gonna need some form of... What is it? A torch. If we want to go down there. Because we need to at least be able to see that things are coming for us at some point. And that's pretty important. Ooh, mortar and pestle for grinding things. Grinding things. It's important to actually pronounce all syllables within a word. Okay. So can we just create ourselves a nice mortar and pestle? And then maybe, just maybe, we could um, grind down that talc powder. Well, that talc into talcum powder. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what it's for. Still don't know what it's for. Let's see. Chalky and abundant, and abundantly absorbent to the touch. An agent required for casting of advanced metals. Oh, that sounds useful. Well, let's just uh, move all those to an open container, because clearly just dropping a bunch of talcum powder in a wooden chest is a good idea. Just go with it. What is this, tannins? Tannins are part of creating leather, which could be pretty good. We could get ourselves another pouch. So what do we need to actually make legit leather? Let us see, leather. So we just need one, tan one tannin and a leather hide? Wow, that's, that's actually pretty easy. Well, there we go, we're making ourselves some leather, people. This is new. This is amazing, Vincent! Vincent, how did you learn how to make leather? I feel like Vincent is some sort of incredibly skilled person. Way more skilled than Tedward ever could have been because Tedward's like the worst. Okay, so we've got ourselves three pieces of leather. I figure the next thing that we're going to need is some form of needle and thread if we wanna make a water skin. So let's get ourselves a needle, we got that. We're gonna need to get ourselves Wait, no, no. Stripped bark comes from branches. That's right. Oh, yeah, look, leather stuff. We can make a small leather bag. We can make a suture. Not interested, thank you very much. We don't need that. A backpack. Crafted with leather, it's suitable for holding many items on your back, reducing overall weight. So that's... Maximum weight 50, weight reduction minus 25%. Oh. oh. Well, I feel like a backpack's actually a better move than a water skin, because we have more than enough containers as is. So let's make ourselves a nice little backpack. Oh yeah. What do we do with it? Equip to back, there we go. Nice, and we can open it up. And here's our backpack with 50 individual things. That is so good. That's the best. Okay, so we got ourselves a backpack. We used up all our leather. Well, almost all of our leather. In the process. Apparently our mortar and pestle is already destroyed. Oh, that's disgusting. How weak of a mortar and pestle did you make, Vincent? I can't believe that. That's terrible, Vincent. You're disgusting. Well, there we go. Okay, things appear to be going actually quite nice right now. So let's just open the door and like go out into the wide world. We have to be careful because I think it's still night, but you know, we can just go see what's out here. We need to find, if we can, a path to another island. Hello, shark. Ooh, that looks promising right there, but there is a shark. Oh, oh, we have to swim. Yeah, no, I'm not going out there while there's a shark there. That's terrible. Vincent, don't go out to the shark. That's the worst. Let's see. Well, this is also somewhat promising. Another shark. Another shark. Okay, this island is uh, completely surrounded by sharks. I understand. That is the uh, current situation. This is less than amazing. I am... Hey, buzz off. Bleeding? Oh my word. Come on, you've got yourself a sword. C 
Come on. Just, there we go. There we go. I was concerned that in some way we were, like, not actually effectively, effectively using our sword. Which would be kind of absurd. Vincent! You've got some sort of terrible battle scar on your face. My word, Vincent. This is bad. He's got some serious problems going on here. He lost six health from bleeding? That's a lot of health. Vincent, we need to somehow... Sop up... That, uh... Issue you got there. Let's close the door. Let's make ourselves some sinew. I guess that's cordage. That's good enough. So what we want... I believe the best solution to the current situation will be to create for ourselves what is it we need some suture a suture that's what we want because that's going to totally save our lives here trust me so if we want to actually make a suture we need string oh just string and needle we don't actually need leather oh there you go there you go i guess that's a thing Let's just, uh, I think we have a bunch of branches in here. Oh, yeah. Move all to inventory. And we will get ourselves some string. Suture. Activate the suture! There you are. Good job, Vincent. Vincent is no longer slowly dying. Or quickly dying. Okay, Vincent's no longer dying. For now. We just, just have to hope for the best. Closed door. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was rat meat. Right. Rat meat always comes out as raw, tainted meat, which is disgusting, might I note. So, we can't really eat that. Well, I mean, we can eat it, but it's not a good idea. Ah, <sighs> well, our overall survival situation does not appear to be... Oh, here we go. This is what we need. A new land with new possibilities preferably with some resources we can use for some form of armor perchance oh, we could make wood armor I, I forgot about that oh man this place is terrible this little island disgusting look at this it's just it's just a tiny little thing what are we gonna do with this island oh okay okay we got some more stuff here what's over here any sort of like stone for a potential delicious iron piece thing no 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 iron it's, it's all I want it's all that I want in life is some delicious iron ore so that we can just you know make up a huge suit of like amazing armor stop hitting trees with your sword Vincent it's the worst there we go make him die so let's carve up the spider grab our stuff here which appears to be exceptional spider silk oh there you go what is that shallow seawater and a log we'll pick up the log vincent come on you see a log on the shore that's a good omen vincent you have to pick it up Man, if we could get some sandstone, that would be great. The one good thing that came out of uh, Marlene's survival was that I found that there is an item called a grindstone that you can make out of sandstone, and it actually repairs your items. So if we can find some sandstone out here, we could actually repair our sword, which is not in the best way right now. Ooh, stone. Okay, stone. We really want to avoid that snake. Because it's terrible. But is there any more stone here? Not really. Oh, that's not... What is that? It's a zombie. It's Tedward. It's, it's the remains of Tedward. I guess that's what happens at night. That kind of thing shows up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're being hunted down by two individual enemies. One's a rat, meaning it's not terribly dangerous. I say as I'm bleeding from a rat attack. Run! Run! Oh man, how do we get home? Oh 
Oh my word, this is not going well. Come on, just kill the bat. It's just a bat. Bats aren't really that hard to kill. Jeez, Vincent. Jeez, Vincent. Bats are easy to kill. Heal yourself up, you're bleeding profusely. Oh my word, where is our way home? Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, note to self. Never again leave the house at night! The house at- leaving the house at night is a terrible idea. Well, we in the very least actually found a place where we can chill out. We know how to heal ourselves as well, which is pretty good. So, despite the fact that we've taken a bit of damage, we can probably, you know, deal with that. In our typical manner, with a nice little suture, which is the best. Let's just fill up on some water here. Our little watering hole is very much running out of resources. But there is an item that I noticed in the list. Where is it? It's here somewhere. It's a still. And um, we can use the still to take salt water and turn it into <coughs> and turn it into fresh water. So we're not about to run out of water anytime soon, which is like the best. Can we get ourselves? Oh, our backpack has durability. Oh man. Why does everything have durability in this game? And why is the durability so low on everything in this game? No! It's the worst! So we got some tinder, we just need some kindling. There we go. Come on, Vincent. Just start a fire, Vincent! Vincent! You destroyed your fire-making tool, Vincent! You disgust me, Vincent! Oh my word, Vincent. You're the worst. Just start a fire, Vincent. It's not that hard. There you go. Everything is very complicated for poor Vincent. Oh my word. Hey. Is it daytime? I don't think so. It's hard to tell. Let's just uh, close the door. And that will bring us for now to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. This is Wayward. This is Vincent. And Vincent will be back to continue to try his absolute best. Ooh, you should cook a spider. Oh, come on. Vincent, it's not that hard to cook a spider. How is a spider harder to cook than just a piece of legitimate meat? Ah. Uh, anyway, as we progress, we will see how Vincent continues to be an absolute dingbat in pretty much every way. Until then, thanks for watching, and of course... Enjoy the rest of your day.